Yeah, what's cracking, everybody? It's your boy Big JD here again with a little bit of car talk. Why? Because I just didn't have enough time to drop a vid today. So I told you I was going to be checking in with all yous every day from now on. Not going to let the PBR car down, you know, but you got to understand this. <clears throat> I don't get to sit at home all day long. And, and just twiddle my thumbs. I actually got to work. I work 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 hour shifts, five days a week. Tonight's probably going to be another doozy and another long one. So I'm going to be doing this whenever I can't drop content. But I got a lot of content coming your way. I got a lot of interesting shit on the table. We're going to be exploring more about the feds and all. But let me talk to you a little bit about the old me versus the new me. So some of you are wondering, do I work at Amazon? I do not work at Amazon. Amazon don't pay enough for what I'm worth. I can tell you, though, that I did apply for Amazon once upon a time, but they didn't hire me. You know, and, and the rest is history. I mean, I was working in the restaurant industry at the time, and, and what I was getting paid in the restaurant, Amazon was actually offering a little bit more than that. But I just, I just didn't get the job. So I kept pushing. I kept moving forward. I was about ready to go broke. I was, your boy was about ready to go broke, man. I mean, I was about ready to lose everything. My niece didn't have a job at the time. Other members of my family were doing bad. All of us were doing bad at that time, but I just kept pushing. But the old me was wanting to go out there and slang some dope, get my hustle on, do this, do that. A note, a mask, bam. Next thing you know, I can run up in a bank. All these thoughts. But I used my rational self-analysis and did a RSA, rational self-analysis, and I knocked them thoughts out the box. Ended up getting this job where I work now, making good money for being a single man that doesn't have any kind of like dependence or, or any kind of child support or fines or anything like that. And, and, and I live well. Like I said, I don't make really any money off of YouTube. You feel me? And, and what money I do make off my books and shit like that, that usually goes back out into... The kind of work that I do, the social kind of work that I do, helping people, I send a lot of books to the inside. I do a lot of things on that nature. So the old me versus the new me, the old you will be in this situation at least once, at least twice, especially in this day and age of COVID. But what I could tell you is all right now, get yourself into logistics, get yourself into warehousing. If you're having trouble finding work right now because of this pandemic, get yourself into logistics. I mean, we can't keep people on here. They're begging people to come work where I'm at, right? Not only, uh, speaking of Amazon, Amazon's hiring all the time, and there's an Amazon almost everywhere, right? FedEx, UPS, all these different places. I mean, it's, it's logistics. They're still shipping stuff. They're still doing all that. You know what I mean? And, and, and what I do with mine, people say I'm an order selector. Sometimes I select orders. Sometimes I audit orders. It just really depends. I got a lot of SAP training. I got ISO training and all that. Use your skills to your advantage. Get out there, right? And get up in logistics. Get your foot in the door. Just keep pushing. Don't think that it's over with. You know, because a lot of people out of work and a lot of people depending on these stimulus checks and all that, don't be the guy or the gal that has to solely rely on a stimulus check, the government to help you. Because the government ain't going to help you all the time. You got to get your hustle on. You got to get out there and do what you got to do. Logistics, hiring like a motherfucker right now. Anywhere in logistics. It's real easy. Where I found mine is I shit. I went to Indeed. I did all that. But you got to stay diligent. You just got to keep pushing. The last thing you want to do is to allow this kind of shit to affect you. So, I mean, I got a lot on my plate and everything. A lot of things happen. I mean, you know, I get in my moods. I have my ups and my downs. Like right now, I got a major fucking headache, man. I, I shit. Major headache. <clears throat> but I just keep doing it. And it's, it's all you got to do. Just keep pushing. Keep grinding. Keep shining. Don't give up. And for God, for damn sure, don't rely on the government or a stimulus check to be your save all because it's not. You already know what it is. You heard it right here. Prison break raw, uncut, uncensored, no holds barred, non sugarcoat not politically correct, all up in your face, slapping you with that dicker reality, and I'm out.